Hi everyone, I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts that I had um, during my prayer time this week in particular. Um, yes, I am in my dressing gown if you've noticed. It is really cold here in Melbourne and um, yeah, it's still early-ish, I guess. It's Monday morning and I usually have a bit of a rest on a Monday. Anyway, I, um, I for myself and also after speaking to a few other people, um, I really sense there's a lot of shifting going on in the spiritual realm right now where there's a lot of change happening here in the natural. Uh, people are transitioning to different places, moving perhaps, moving jobs, moving uh, houses. Um just uh, kind of, I guess, significant life changes are happening in people's lives. And that also can mean, you know, you're stepping into a greater purpose in your life. You're stepping into the next season, which is ultimately going to lead to um, fulfilling uh, what God's plan is for you. And I know for myself, I've felt like a real, a real tug, like a real resistance um, that has manifested in like a, a lot of physical pain, particularly in my right shoulder and arm. And that's where I feel uh, anxiety. That's where my anxiety manifests. And I can really sense that it's the enemy really holding me back from stepping into the next season. And there's good news and bad news there, I suppose, because, um, you know, the not so good news there is that it's it's pretty painful um, and I need to be praying and confessing scripture and just constantly uh, confessing God's word over myself and just knowing that identifying what it is, that it is a battle. Um, but the good news is that you know, when this comes up, I know that I'm in the right place because I wouldn't be, um, I wouldn't be coming up, I wouldn't be coming up against this kind of opposition if I wasn't heading in the right direction. So I, you know, I, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to persevere and I'm just going to keep praying and just pushing through and standing in authority because, uh, you know, the war, the battle has been won. I need to remember that. We all need to remember that. Even though it feels like we're fighting and we are in a battle, which is true, um, the enemy likes to come and trick us and lie to us and think that it may not end up the way, what it says in a word and it says that it is finished. It says that um, Jesus is the victor and um, it hasn't changed since I last looked. It's still there. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pray for you. Um, and for myself and as we just go through to our next season, which I know is going to be full of abundance and fruit. So dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you very much for the ability to pray to you, to lean on you, to just completely put our support, our, our support onto you, Lord, because you are strong enough to take our burdens and you know exactly what is happening in each of our lives and Lord I pray that if my brothers and sisters and myself we are in a bit of a battle right now for those people in particular I pray that you come upon them and that you show them and reassure them and encourage them in a way that they know that you are speaking to them Lord I pray that you Use people in their life to speak beautiful words to them, that you give them dreams, that you give them visions, that you remind them of beautiful scripture, perhaps promises from the past, prophecies from the past that are going to come true. And I just pray that if you are feeling that you're going to lose this battle, that you feel defeated, that you feel hopeless and just really downcast at the moment. I pray that you spend more time in the word and stand up to the enemy and just spend time meditating on the beautiful scriptures and just speak 
to the Holy Spirit and lay all of your burdens and anxieties onto him and he will he will direct your path he will show you where you're meant to be what you need to let go of and what you're stepping into so let's trust in him with all of our heart and know that it is finished in Jesus name amen have a blessed Monday bye